Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode three of my No Man's Sky Beginner's Guide. I'm glad you enjoyed the first couple episodes. We'll keep this going. And uh, let me show you all the tips and tricks along the way. Look at that. I got a milestone setting out. I have traveled 8,000 U. So you guys know this is a legit real save. So picking up where we left off, uh, we've got, we're broke. We got 22,000 units. Uh, just got a few nanites. We don't have a lot of materials. Uh, no technology, uh, just a little bit of stuff we've picked up in our starship. I do have 6,000 cobalt that I've managed to pick up, and uh, and yeah, so we're gonna do some. We're gonna make some money today. We're gonna look at some more ships, and uh, and you know we're gonna continue on the Artemis quest line because I want to unlock the anomaly. That's the goal today. Is let's unlock the anomaly. First thing is, I'm at Bob's Knob, so let's check and see what the economy's like. I haven't been here in a few days. Uh, it's back up to 17%, so I'm going to just go ahead and flip this real quick. So let's sell the cobalt. We'll make a million bucks. Uh, it's not ideal, but hey, whatever. And then we'll buy it back. And uh, so we started with 22. We ended with 725. Nice 700. Get, what, why are you on my back, dude? Quit it. So a <laughs> nice 700,000 to start the morning. Uh, not bad at all. Not nice. All right, so let's go check out the encoded signal. We're going to continue to follow the quest line, and this should take us to a distress signal, if I remember correctly. Off planet, so we need to get out of the atmosphere. All right, so we're coming down on the crash freighter. So we're coming down on a landing pad. There is free parking on crash freighters, so I don't have to worry about launch fuel. But this is where we should get the warp drive, which will help us get out of here. As soon as you see that light turn green, go ahead and hit the landing key and you'll stick the landing every time. No matter your direction really, as long as your circle's kind of pointed at the uh, landing thing and it turns from blue to green, you're good to go. Alright, so let's see what do we got here. Let's skip that, get out of the way. Uh, log damaged, partial records available. That was very nice of them. We appreciate that. All right, so we've got new technology discovered. We've got a hyperdrive now, so we can, oops, wrong button. So we can uh, jump system to system now. So we're gonna continue to follow this. Exosuit guidance alert, begin hyperdrive installation. So let's go ahead and, what am I doing? Did I really not move this technology yet? Bob, what are you doing, man? You gotta move your technology. Will you not, oh, wait. Here we go. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. And we'll put we're gonna we'll put this here. We'll make the hyperdrive right here. Chromatic metal, and then we need to go buy five microprocessors, so we'll do that uh, back at Bob's knob. All right, but while we're here, uh, it doesn't give you this, but uh, we might as well check for it. There are cargo pods here. There's always, I think there's five, and they're always in about the same location, so once you kind of learn the pattern, uh, you know where to go look for them. But you can always highlight them and, and go get them. There should be one right here, I think. Um, so you're going to have to use your terrain manipulator to open up the holes for the ones that are underground. There are some that are above ground. Uh, behind me and to my left and then once you kind of get that and you see the busted door you see the damaged panel uh, you just switch and uh, and get in there and then continue to clear out the stuff now there's gonna be cargo pods in here that are gonna require some random material it's gonna be the same material for each pod usually um, so if you happen to have it early game I don't have a lot of stuff so I may not have what they want um, we're going to grab what's in here, because sometimes you get some good stuff. But, so they want chromatic metal. We're in luck. All right, now I haven't clicked this yet. As soon as I click this, it's going to start a sequence, and it's going to give me something in my inventory. But as soon as I get it, as soon as it lets go of me, I'm going to run, because there's going to be a radiation leak that's going to damage me. Okay, so let's do it. Come on, run. Ah, ah, I got stuck. I got stuck. You see that radiation protection falling? Yeah, don't don't stay around there. All right, so there's another one right here. Nope, this one. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab this. Should be the same five chromatic metal. 
Yep. Let's run. Oh, we got some money. Nice. Alright, so we got all of that stuff. Let's see, what do we get? We got a warp cell, some oxygen, some other materials. I think we got some nanites, right? Yeah, I got 40 or so nanites, maybe. Whoa, okay, so always check these things. I just got an S-Class Thermal Protection Module. That is awesome. Uh, if I was going to be on a hot planet for, uh, like, my home base, I would definitely install that. Later on, I'm going to install it for sure, but for now, I'm actually going to uh, trade it in and get, get some nanites for it. So, that's sweet. That guy looks like he wants to eat me. Yeah, that little red thing, that says he wants to eat me. Let's uh, let's shoot him in the head. There you go. Don't eat Bob. It's not nice. Now, you can scan them after you shoot them, so if you see one and they're coming right for you, go ahead and kill them. Then you can scan them. But make sure you scan them. All right. So... We'll follow the little red thing to see where it's taken us. Now, guys, if uh, if you don't know, I am playing in version 2.42. The new version has not released yet. I don't know when you're watching this video, but it could have come out, so things could have changed. If they have, I'll put a link in the description uh, to my updated video. But for the most part, the beginning quest line doesn't change a lot. All right, so let's go buy the microprocessors, and then we'll go sell that uh, upgrade and get some more nanites. So now, install hyperdrive objective complete. What's up, dude? I just made a hyperdrive. You jelly? All right, so craft warp fuel. Find antimatter recipe. Okay, so it's important. Um, I've got that warp fuel already. If you happen to come across antimatter or something, follow this quest or you will not learn the recipe for antimatter. So, but let me sell this real quick. We're going to hit purchase because they don't give you the option from there to sell. But then, what do you got anyway? Thermal protection. All right, so I can buy it for 588. Let's see what you'll pay me for it. 488. So, yeah, I'll take it. Ah, I'm up to 700. Nice. Let's check the cabinet. See what the uh, multi tool is. I can't remember. Ooh, the A class full slots, C class half slots. Still better than what I got, but we are on the hunt for a multi tool. Grab some more goodies over here. All right. Auto diagnostic report. Hyperdrive successfully installed. Hyperdrive fuel status empty. My hyperdrive is complete. Perhaps I really will find answers out there amidst the stars. Perhaps. But without warp cells, I'll be going nowhere. I need to find a source of antimatter. Let's tune scanner to antimatter. I don't know why I sound like a whiny teenager right now when I'm reading that, but that's that's the voice that you're getting. All right. So once we fly out, we're gonna hit C. And it will show us some antimatter detected. Which way are we going? This way. All right. It's on uh, on my planet. Coming in on the antimatter trace. Now, if I remember correctly, this is going to take us to an abandoned building. Antimatter has been traced to this abandoned building. We've got these whispering eggs out here. I'll show you that real quick after I get the antimatter and make a save grab all this stuff now if your light doesn't turn on automatically and sometimes mine doesn't you can go over here to the wheel and toggle it on uh, I think there's a hotkey for it as well yeah see stupid plant got me where are you oh you're right there wish that dude would quit smacking me all right so this is what we're looking for all this running around we're looking for the haunted terminal let's take the blueprint and read the log you will find us when the time is right 16, 16, 16. Lots of 16s. Alright, so now we've got the blueprint for antimatter. This is awesome. We've been looking for this. So, and for the antimatter housing. Which, you need that too. To make the warp cell. I saw something right over here. 
Yeah, I want this. Alright. Um, I don't think I've gone over this yet in the series. Don't shoot these until you're ready, uh, or it will hurt. Alright, so I'm going to fill this hole back up um, because I'm going to make some more holes. Alright, so I've got my train manipulator set to mine. Now, I want these eggs because I can refine each egg for 50 nanites. And there should be about 15 or 20 of them here. So that'll give me a nice chunk of nanites. Or I could sell them for money if I'm really hard up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a hole underneath them, pointed diagonally down towards the building away from the eggs. And I'm going to jump in that hole and uh, shoot the eggs and they'll run they'll roll down to me and the bad monsters are gonna pop out all around it and hopefully not get in the hole they usually don't but I feel like they glitch sometimes in there and I'm just gonna jump from hole to hole alright suits charged up created a new auto save by jumping out of the ship let's do this so we're gonna jump in the hole All right, now I recommend going in the first person for this because um, it gets weird in the hole sometimes and you can't see stuff. So I'm going to go in the first person if you're not naturally there. And so there's, there's monsters up there and they want to eat me. All those little green things, they spit acid, they're no good. Um, but I got to grab these things before they go away. So I ain't got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, where's the other one? Is there only two here? Felt like there should have been more. Did I? Is that it? There it is. Alright, so grab that. I hate third person. Or first person. Alright, so I'm here. I'm fully charged. I'm going to run to the next hole. Before they can get me. Yeah. Alright, let's get this weapon charge depleted. Of course it is. So as soon as I shoot it, I'm hitting my, um, on computer it's the E key. I'm hitting the key to pick up stuff and starting to point at it and holding it down because that's gonna, as soon as I kind of hit it right, it's gonna, it'll start the process. So I don't have to, don't have to wait and risk losing it. Alright, these guys are mad. Ah, see, you spit at me. Bob's too quick for you. Haha, <laughs> suckers. Let's go. Just keep moving. <coughs> and you'll be fine. Ah! God, he's in the hole! Sometimes I get in the hole. <laughs> that guy got in the hole. <sighs> All right, Bob got scared. Sorry about that. I'm gonna have to change my exosuit. So dig the holes a little deeper and you probably won't have that issue. All right, it's always cool to just kind of jump on the roof too if you need a break. See him spitting? Ow. How do we do? 25, that's amazing. All right. All right, let's get out of here. I don't want to deal with these guys. Coming back into Bob's Knob. It looks glorious from here, doesn't it? All right, so... Refiner, hello. All right, so um, larval cores, check it. Five larval cores, 250 nanites. Now, they're worth 349,000 units, so you got to make a call early game. Are you more interested in getting a stack of money, or are you more interested in getting a stack of nanites? My recommendation is do the cobalt method, wait a minute, and you'll get some money. But, if I sell all 25 of these, I'll have a couple million units and I could buy a ship. So you kind of, you can go either way with this. I'm going to refine them to nanites. When I first started playing, I sold them, but I realized that upgrades are way more important early game than I thought they were. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn all these 25 uh, larval cores into nanites real quick. And watch how quick it is. It's one second. I mean, what the heck, guys. All right, so we need to make antimatter still. Now we finally got the components. We need to make an antimatter housing. 
And then from there we can make a warp cell, which we already had, so we're going to stack it with the other one. Alright, and we'll go here. This is... I'm doing this so I don't have to use launch fuel. Now I also want to recheck the uh, multi-tool cabinet because sometimes it will change if you save on a different planet, or moon in my case, uh, to whatever the multi-tool is on that planet. Yeah, so see it changed. It changed to a gun. It's a C-Class. It was a rifle before. But uh, it's cool looking, honestly. Looks like a paintball gun. But uh, C-Class is not for Bob. So we've refueled it. Let's go somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. There's going to be a line kind of directing you. But, I mean, if you don't want to go to that place, you can go wherever you want. So let's deselect the current system, and then you can kind of float around and go wherever. We'll do what it appears to want us to do. Ooh, cool. Purple. Alright, first contact. So we have uh, entered a new system no one's ever been to before. Five planets. Gek. I didn't notice the economy. I was too busy staring at the big purple planet. And we've got a report. Hyperdrive error. Warp fuel depleted. Oh no. Searching for fuel source. Searching. Searching. Obtained. Warp fuel source. 16, 16, 16. Accept guidance to fuel source. Yeah, sure. Why not? What a cool red planet. Eh. Eh, wrong button. Q. There we go. Nice. Heh, <laughs> thanks to that little blue flower. Made it all the way over. Whoa, that was a funky animal. This structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is obviously alien, so obviously out of place. Is it first? Is it last? Guys, answer these questions however you want. Um, I know I'm not first because I've played this before, so I am last because... Until someone else comes, I'm last. This is the heart of the anomaly, by the way, and that's where we're heading is the anomaly. Alert, alert, the boundary fail. The boundaries fall, the walls collapse, your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. All right, that's what we've been waiting for. Now, guys, we got another warp cell. Um, I'm rushing through this because it's a beginner's guide and I'm showing you the important stuff, but don't miss your chance to wander around, run around on these planets and look at stuff. I mean, come on, look at this funky thing. Go ride that if you feel like it, okay? I'm just showing you kind of where to get to the points to move your, uh, move your progress. So don't feel like you have to rush this at all. Now these things you want to grab and it's going to give you some words. He he he, boy hoy boy, blah blah blah, wordy wordy wordy, accept the knowledge. I learned Gek. It's useful. It's better than hey you. Uh, pro tip from Survival Bob, carry poop when you go to the anomaly and I'll show you why. More than likely. Incoming transmission. Source unknown. You are not Kzz alone. Please identify yourself. I'm Kzz. Identify yourself or remain silent. It's your choice. I'm going to tell them who I am. I ain't scared. You left me Kzz. Why did you Kzz? Tell them you don't understand. Tell them you're sorry. I don't understand. How can I be sorry if I don't understand? Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd Kzz. Just like the others. Kzz. Who are you talking to, bro? There's no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Coordinates received. Alright, so we're getting close to the anomaly. We've got to go find Artemis. Uh, base computer archives. Traveler's strange coordinates. So we've got... This, this always hits. You've got two paths right now, okay? You can run back to your base computer... Um, or you can continue on this quest. Now this quest is in this galaxy, so if you run back to your base computer, you're going to have to come back here. Um, I am going to run back to my base computer, though, because I can't remember what I get. Data recovered 6%, new data available. Let's search construction database. You can search the archives, too. That'll give you some lore information. Storage container plans restored. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning of defragmentation of next segment. All right, good. 
All right, guys. So the base computer, uh, this is becomes a quest now. It's a secondary mission. It wasn't there. I don't think it was there a minute ago. Uh, so the base computer archive, it's going to go in the background, but it's not going to remind you unless you click on it, okay? So if you're in Awakenings, which is where I usually am, or one of the other side quests that are going to pop up here, this will get full, by the way. If you don't periodically click on this and wait for it to kind of load in, you're going to miss a lot of stuff, and you're going to get free blueprints out of this base computer by just coming back every hour and a half and checking it out. Oh, that is a cool looking hauler, and I do not have 76 million units, so I'm not even going to look at it. Now, whenever you get a plan from the base computer, you it wants you to build it. You need magnetized ferrite. Alright, get out of that. Portable refiner. Alright, we're good to go. Hit the right button. There we go. Alright, so now we've got our first storage container. Bam. All right. So, um, <coughs> base computer archives, construct a storage container, check. Okay, so now in the bottom right-hand corner, you see uh, it's ticking the clock down again. So every hour and a half of real time, uh, we're going to get another blueprint from there. Now, if we've already learned that blueprint, it'll give us like a, a C or B class upgrade to something crappy that we can sell for nanites. So, uh, you know, if, if you're into getting free stuff, check back every hour and a half in real time of that build what it tells you to build even if you don't want to keep it you can deconstruct it because it'll be ticking on to the next mission you don't need to power this you need to power it if you want to look inside it but you don't need to power it to put stuff in it okay let me show you something so we're going to go to our exosuit and uh i don't need to carry this around so i'm going to hit x for quick transfer and i can stick it in my storage container even though it's not unlocked. So I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to throw that in there. Uh, that cobalt should actually be over here. What are you doing over there? All right, uh, portable refiner, advanced battery, silver. Let's just throw the silver and gold in there because we need a little bit of that stuff later. Uh, I don't need the facium. Nailed it, one carbon. All right. All right, so we're gonna when, whenever you jump into a portal or your map, it's gonna highlight if you need to go to a system because of the mission. So this is where I am, Bob's Knob current system. This is my current space station, and this is where I'm going uh, back to go get the stranger's coordinates. But I wanted the timer going while I was gone, so I can be the most efficient with my time. So that's why I wanted to come back and build that storage unit and get the base computer clicking for another hour and a half. I'm here. I'm back. I love this big purple planet here. Ooh, that's where we're going. Sweet. All right, let's go. All right, so I've had trouble with this. Um, I'm going to come in slow and give it time, plenty of time to load in. Now, the trouble I've had, honestly, I'm pretty sure was on Xbox, not on PC. So I don't know if it's as big a deal on PC, but... Now. Yep, perfect. And then land. Alright, so this is a crash ship, and the last two times I did this, I've started a bunch of missions, right? A bunch of uh, saves lately. But the last two times I did this on Xbox, uh, the ship wasn't here. I got screwed out of a free ship. Uh, so that's why I came in slow and low. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Um, it can't hurt. Alright, so it's directing us over here, but that's the ship, it's a shuttle. You can tell. All right, so we gotta fix this. Five sodium, some chromatic metal, and just wait. Extract records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. All right, so we got the advanced mining laser. This was the thing I was wanting. So we wanna build that. All right, so let's jump in the ship. All right, it's a B-class. It's got more slots than we do, but all of the slots are filled with busted machinery. It's got a bunch of technology slots too. So um, compare. Compared to mine, it is much better. So we can claim it. We can't trade it because we only own one ship, but we can claim it. All right, so this is my ship now. 
Pulse Engine critically damaged. Alright, so at this point, you've got two choices, okay? So, uh, because the last ship we were in is the busted one, that's our default ship. If we, if we go back over to this ship, that we can change ships, and they're both right here. But, uh, if you want to fly this ship, you've got to fix it first. And the way you fix it is with the components that it requires, okay? Now, um, you don't have to fix everything. I would fix at least the, um, the pulse engine and the shields. Uh, you need the launcher. That's already working here. Um, but I'm actually not going to fix anything because I'm cheap. And I'll show you a way around that. All right, so I'm jumping back in my pillar, back in the space, and we should get a radio signal. All right, so now we've got a message from Nada. Priest Entity Nada, that is. Artemis Entity, we received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity. Tell the truth or lie. Your choice, guys. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We have been in con contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard, yes? A proper introduction to our home. Perfect. Bam. And there it is. The Death Star has arrived. Don't shoot it. I was just getting those rocks. It's got a weird shadow on it because of where the, where the sun is in this system. Alright, so you just fly into the center of it. And this is the anomaly. This is like the space hub, lounge, whatever you want to call it. This is where you can meet your friends, where you can buy cool stuff, you can do Quicksilver missions, weekend missions with friends, um, and you're going to see other players in here. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you like it, if you want them to keep going, let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button. Uh, if you do want it to keep going, I'll continue the series uh, as a tutorial and, and kind of turn it into a playthrough. Uh, but uh, I wanted to get you to the anomaly. I've got you to the anomaly. From here, you take your own path. You do your own thing. Uh, you can meet up with people. You can do multiplayer games. You can do all kinds of great stuff in the anomaly. Uh, by blueprints. I went over a lot of that. But uh, but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all the new subscribers that we've gotten lately. Uh, say hi in the comments. Check out my Discord, guys. If you check the description below, I've got a Discord channel. I'd love for you guys to join. Uh, we've got a great community we're building there. we got 80 to 100 people, I think, uh, at this point who are No Man's Sky fans, and they can help you out along the way. Uh, guys, we will see you next time in No Man's Sky. And remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. Oh, and uh, if you're going to go to the Anomaly, bring some Facium.